Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this given beam. This is a simply supported beam and it has the different loading on this beam. So we are going to find out the support reactions for this beam. This beam has a total length of 11 meter and there is a two concentrated load acting on this beam one with a magnitude of 4 kN acting at a distance of 2 meter from this hinge support and the other load acts at a distance of 2 meter from this roller support with a magnitude of 6 kN and there is a uniformly distributed load of 3 kN per meter acting over the distance of 3 meter which acts at the middle of the beam so we are going to find out their support reactions so let us consider this is support A and this is support B so and let consider that these reactions are acting in the upper direction in order to resist the load. We are not taking the horizontal reaction of the hinge support because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. And we will also verify at the last that either we found out our support reactions correctly or not. So to find out the support reactions, so RA and RB are unknown to us. So we are going to take the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. Either we use this equilibrium equation or this equilibrium equation that summation of all vertical forces are equal to zero or we can use this equation to find out the unknown in our beam. We cannot use this equation because we don't have any horizontal load on this beam. Similarly, we cannot use this equation because we have two unknown RA and RB. This equation is used when we have only one unknown, only one unknown. So the only remains of equilibrium equation is the summation of moment. So we will use only this equation in order to find out the unknown. So summation of moment, let's suppose at point B equal to zero. So the moment formula is moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment arm. So, to find out the moment about point B, let's start from this end. So, RA, so I suppose that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So, RA is acting in upper direction and it will create moment, it is acting upper direction and it will create moment about point B in the clockwise direction because it will create moment about point B in the clockwise direction so we will take this as positive because clockwise direction moment is taken as positive so moment will be force force is RA multiply with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point from this RA to the point B because we want to find out the moment at point B so this is 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 which is total equal to 11 meter. Now again the other force is 4 kN acting in downward direction so it will create moment here about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So it will be minus 4 multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point. So it is 2 meter plus 3 meter plus 2 meter plus 2 meter. So the total is 9 meter. Now there is also load of 6 kN acting in the downward direction so it will also create the anti-clockwise moment about point B so it will again be negative multiplying with the moment arm the moment arm is this distance which is 2 meter and also we have distributed load of 3 kN per meter over the distance of 3 meter so it will be minus because it is also acting in the downward direction so it will create the moment about point B anti-clockwise direction so it will be also negative and it creates a moment 3 is the load acting multiplying with, with the 3 3 is the distance on which it is distributed multiplying with the moment arm so moment arm is the distance this load will act at the center of this uniformly load which is the middle of the which is the half distance of the 3 meter which is 1.5 meter so it will act at the half of this 3 meter 1.5 meter is this and 2 meter and 2 meter so adding this 2 meter 2 meter and 1.5 we got 5.5 so summation of all the moment about point B are equal to 0 we find out all the moments about point B 
Now shifting these all values into the right side, so we got and multiplying these, we got 36 here and 12 and by multiplying this we got 49.5. Now adding these all, we got 97.5 and dividing this 97.5 by 11, we got 8.86. 6 kilonewton. So this is the support reactions Ra 8.86 kilonewton. So we find out our support reactions at point at support A. Now how to find this Rb? Now we have only one unknown. So now we can use this equation in order to find out the unknown. Again we cannot use this equation because there is no horizontal load. We can use this equation as well in order to find out the support reactions Rb but I don't want to again consider this equation. I want to follow this equation in order to find out the unknown. So when we have only one unknown then we can use this equation. So I will use this equation that summation of all vertical forces are equal to zero. And now let's consider that the upward forces acting are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So upward forces are Ra and Rb. So these are taken as positive. Now and the downward forces are taken as negative. The downward forces are 4 kN, 6 kN and this load. So minus 4, minus 6, minus 3 multiply with 3 because this is a distributed load. 3 kN is the magnitude and distributed over the 3 meter. So this 3 is the distributed length and this is the load. Summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. Like the similar way which was the moment, summation of moment about point B equal to 0. In this case we take the summation of vertical forces equal to 0. Now we know that Ra is 8.86. We know this value. So we will shift all this value into the right side. So we got 4 plus 6 plus 9 minus Ra. So it becomes 19 minus 8.866 so we got Rb equal to 10.133 kilonewton. So this is the way how to find out the 10.133 kilonewton. This is the way how to find out the support reactions Rb. Hope you guys understand that how to find out the support reactions for a beam with the two different equations. These three equilibrium equations are used to find out the support reactions. Now to verify that either we found out these support reactions correctly or not, so we can verify the support reactions by this formula that let's suppose summation of all vertical forces are equal to zero or we can say that the upward forces acting are equal to the downward forces. So the upward forces are Ra and Rb. So Ra and Rb will be equal to the downward forces. Downward forces are 4 kN, 6 kN and this distributed load. So these are all the downward forces. So Ra is 8.86 plus Rb which is 10.133 equal to this load which is 19 kN. So by adding this we get 19 or we get 18.99 something equal to 19 kN. So it means 19 kN is equal to the 19 kN. So we find, so we can say here that our lift reactions are the downward forces are equal to the upward forces. So it means that our support reactions are equal and our beam is stable, in stable condition.